On this week's episode of Authentic Michigan, we explore hidden treasures in some of the Mitten's beautiful cities. Catherine works up a sweat and appetite while visiting your favorite local Michigan companies, and so much more. Here at Authentic Michigan, we are going behind the scenes to see, learn, and experience the best Michigan has to offer. From the streets of Detroit's industrial district to the shores of Lake Superior, Authentic Michigan is gonna take you on a fun tour across our great state. Hello fellow Michiganders, I'm Kiera Hay and thanks for tuning in to Authentic Michigan, a show that's guaranteed to take you on a fun journey across our beautiful state and maybe learn a thing or two along the way. So let's get started. We love sharing lists, and as everyone knows, Michigan is one of the most prolific states when it comes to microbrewers. Here are four of our favorite Michigan microbreweries in no particular order. Celebrating its 20th year, Founders Brewing Company of Grand Rapids prides itself in not brewing beer for the masses, but a chosen few. Those so-called renegades and rebels who enjoy a beer that pushes the limits of what is commonly accepted as taste. All Day IPA, Dirty Bastard, and Founders Porter are but three of their year-round classics. Offering seasonal and specialty beers, Founders has a tap room, store, and mug club for its patrons. Founders will soon open a location in Detroit as well. Another famous local brewer, Bell's Beer, whose motto is Inspired Brewing, is located in Kalamazoo and brews an American Amber Ale, Lager of the Lakes, and Kalamazoo Stout and is equally famous for their seasonal classics such as Oberon in the summer and White Winter Ale in the winter. Its eccentric cafe and tap room offers food, music, and a general store. The Jolly Pumpkin Brewery, located in Dexter, boasts labels as arty as their beverages, courtesy of artist Adam Foreman. But you only look at the label, you drink the beer, and the Jolly Pumpkin has something for every palate. Sour Stouts, Rye Triple Ales, Dark Ales, Golden Ales, Amber Ales, and yes, a pumpkin ale, the Jolly Pumpkin will definitely cure what ails you. Although the brewery is in Dexter, there are three Jolly Pumpkin cafes. One in Ann Arbor, one in Detroit, and one in Traverse City. A new location is expected to open in Royal Oak soon. Shorts Brewing Company of Bel Air, Michigan brews hundreds of different beers with fun names such as Frank the Snake meets the Time Traveling Stag, Orange of Glad I Didn't Call You Honey, Pig Bird with Orange Zest, and Son of Samurai. Shorts continues to evolve and in 2014 opened a boutique, Shorts Mart, and launched a series of star-cut ciders born out of a desire to make unique and traditional ciders from the orchards in northern Michigan. Starcut now boasts a portfolio of flagship, seasonal, and pub-only ciders. Of course, there are many more great Michigan microbreweries. Drink responsibly and enjoy. Detroit and Dichotomy go hand in hand. The D is known as the Motor City, but it's also home to Belle Isle. For those who love downtown Detroit, but also enjoy the atmosphere of one of Detroit's landmark locations, Belle Isle Park is a Detroit gem. Becoming Michigan's 102nd state park in 2014 as part of a lease agreement with the city of Detroit, Belle Isle is a 982-acre island park situated on the Detroit River between the United States and Canada. Home to a variety of attractions, including an aquarium, conservatory, and the James Scott Memorial Fountain, this park provides a wide assortment of educational and recreational opportunities. Another claim to fame here is the Belle Isle Aquarium, designed by famed Detroit architect Albert Kahn, which opened on August 18, 1904. It is the oldest aquarium in the country and has served the Detroit community as a beloved attraction for generations. Although closed in 2005, it reopened in 2012 and is home to a unique collection of fish. The park is sustained by the Belle Isle Conservancy, whose mission is to protect, preserve, restore, and enhance the natural environment, historic structures, and unique character of Belle Isle as a public park for the enjoyment of all, now and forever. What better way to end your day at the park than with ice cream? Let's go to Cool Jack's. 
Hey guys, Catherine Grant here, and we are at Cool Jack's with the founder and owner, Josh. And what a great day here, because it's toasty hot here in Michigan. I've been waiting for the weather to finally get hot, and here it is, because there's nothing better for ice cream sandwiches than the hot summer that we're in right now. Totally agree. Well, tell me a little bit about the story. I understand you were obsessed with cookies as a child. Absolutely. I remember not only with cookies, but chasing after the ice cream man on my bike as soon as summer hit. And that's sort of one of the messages that I like to carry through in my product is taking you back to your childhood and what it was like then. So Josh, I understand you have a really great slogan. What is it? So our slogan is, warning may cause uncontrollable happiness. Oh, that sounds so great. <laughs> All right, I think I'm ready to get happy and make some sandwiches. How about you? Let's go for it. Well, I am joined today with Jill, who is the co-founder of Cool Jacks. Hi, Jill. Hi, Catherine. How are you today? Good. So now I'm sandwiched between both of you, and I understand today you're going to teach me on how to make one of these sandwiches. So we absolutely are. We are going to start uh, this morning with a snickerdoodle cookie. All right. And then we're gonna put a scoop of what kind of ice cream? So we are gonna put butter pecan ice cream on top of the snickerdoodle this morning. Our butter pecan ice cream is made um, in-house like everything is. We roast our own pecans with real butter. My goodness, how do you get this in your mouth? This is ginormous. <laughs> it is delicious. All right, I have to admit, I'm kind of excited because this is like the best part is now we get to try the sandwiches. Are we ready? Ready. All right, let's do it. All right, hold on. All right. Mmm. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Be sure to pick up these delicious ice cream sandwiches at a Bush's near you. Don't go anywhere. Authentic Michigan will be right back. Michigan is home, and community is everything. In 1975, Bush's Fresh Food Markets started with a mission to be your go-to local food market. Today, Bush's is still your source for homegrown fresh products with the personal service not found anywhere else. From specialty gourmet foods to farm-to-table Michigan produce and your everyday staples, Bush's is proud to be a part of your community that's always authentic Michigan. Visit us at Weingarts to see our exceptional selection of outdoor power equipment. Our family has been up in families like yours since 1945. Let our experts show you great products from top brands like Cub Cadet, Still, Exmark, Honda, and Toro. Our expert service technicians and world-class parts inventory will keep your equipment running like new. We've always known that service goes beyond the sale. From our family to yours, thank, thank you, you for letting us serve you. Weingarts, Weingarts, everything from home to snow. At Diversified Members Credit Union, we serve the entire state of Michigan. With over 30,000 fee-free ATMs, we're with you wherever you go. To buy that new car, to take that dream vacation, to build that living room you've always wanted. Find out why so many people are choosing to own their own money by switching to a credit union. Apply today and become a member of the official credit union of the Detroit Lions. Visit us or click on dmcu.com. Remember when the milkman delivered dairy products to your house? Well, Calder Brothers Dairy still does. Fresh from their farm in Carleton, Michigan, direct to your doorstep. Calder Brothers Dairy has been providing their premium dairy products from their own cows since 1946. Come visit their farm, which is open to the public all year long, or look for Calder Brothers Dairy products at these Michigan retailers. Taste the local, old-fashioned difference with Calder Brothers Dairy. Welcome back to Authentic Michigan. Let's continue on our journey. Detroit is the birthplace of the soulful sounds of Motown, techno music, and rock duo White Stripes. So it comes as no surprise that music is still a big part of Detroit's culture. It isn't just musicians who thrive in the Motor City, it's also the recording studios that record their art. Founded in 1997 in Cincinnati by Chris Colte, High Bias Recording Studio moved to Detroit in 2001 and settled in its current space on 2133 Michigan Avenue in 2002. 
My company, and I, I guess I use that term pretty loosely, is called High Bias Recordings. And it's a fully functional analog digital recording studio. High Bias Recordings is a place where you can go and make a record. And it's a place where you can go and be part of like, a pretty rad you know, community of people that are doing cool stuff. One of the wonderful things about High Bias for bands is its incredible stock of in-house equipment. Guitars, amps, mics, drums, effects, and more. Not cheap gear, but high-end gear. If you can't afford to record with a Gibson guitar, for example, High Bias has more than one. In fact, a band could probably just show up without any equipment at all and have all the gear needed for high-end recording. All nine reviews of the studio on its Facebook page give it five out of five stars. High Bias Recording attracts bands from all over the world, giving them a chance to experience recording in Motown. Time now for a little Michigan trivia. Did you know that Mount Clements was once known as the Bath City of America? The first bathhouse in Mount Clements, called the Original, was constructed in 1873 and marked the beginning of the city's fabulous bath era. In 1870, a Mount Clements flour mill proprietor, Dora Kellogg, had cured his severe case of eczema by bathing in the salty mineral water and a local physician, Dr. Abner Hayward, had started prescribing bathing for his patients suffering from rheumatism. Interest in the curative powers of the city's mineral waters continued, and as a result, Dr. Henry Taylor, another Mount Clements physician, built the first bathhouse so that the mineral-rich waters could be pumped from the wells into large tubs. However, once the depression took hold, the popularity of these luxury bathhouses began to decline, and now are but a memory. Next time you visit Mount Clemens, remember, it was once known as the Bath City of America. Hey everyone, Katherine Grant here, and I'm at Bush's Fresh Food Markets, and today we're gonna learn a little bit about the story and the history behind this wonderful supermarket. Well, Bush's actually began back in the late 40s as a store called Country Market in Clinton, Michigan. When my father and his high school friend returned from World War II, and they physically built their first store outside of Clinton, which is probably like a 7-Eleven size-wise would be today, but in those days that was a typical grocery store. As that expanded, ultimately they did add a smokehouse to it and that is where the name JB Smokehouse came from because they used to actually slaughter and process pigs and made hams and all that stuff back behind the store. But that chain ultimately built up to about six stores and they went broke. And in that process, they uh, sold out to a chain called Vachos out of Saginaw. They built up to about 50 stores before they went broke. <laughs> and so in 1975, we bought back two of my father's original stores to start this particular entity with. And it was called J&C Family Foods in those days. Joe was my father, Charlie was his partner. My father passed away about a year and a half ago, but I've been running the business uh, since 1983. At that time, we had three stores. We just had built the one in Celine, which is a small portion of what was there today. 1990, we went into Ann Arbor for the first time. That was quite a challenge <laughs> growing into a city like that, especially for people that were very much more rural and focused but it was the right thing to do, and that's really where our headquarters are still today, right in that building. And we've grown from there to 17 stores. We'd like to thank Bush's Fresh Food Markets for allowing us to share all these authentic Michigan stories with you. Don't go anywhere, Authentic Michigan will be right back. Snack Camp is Metro Detroit's original Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram dealer, and we're still making the best deals every day. During the summer clearance event, lease a Ram Crew Cab 4x4 as low as $189 a month, or a 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee for just $249. Sales service and a superior buying experience. That's Snap Camp on Telegraph Road in Redford. Snap Camp, Metro Detroit's original. Snap Camp, Snap Camp. Eden Foods began in the late 1960s, sourcing natural foods among friends. Today, Eden Foods is the largest independent manufacturer of dry grocery authentic organic food. Buying from local farmers directly and developing nutritional products distributed nationally, when you see the Eden Foods label, you know. Now, discover your favorite rejuvenating recipes on Eden's free popular mobile app. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's, Dough Razor. 
your team or school can sell paper pizza certificates that can be redeemed for one medium pizza at participating locations. Hungry Howard's makes it easy. It's just a little mini pizza box, but we make lots of money, lots of dough. Go to doughraiser.com to learn more and sign up. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Experience the flavor and atmosphere of JB Smokehouse in Canton. Authentic North Carolina style pulled pork, Texas style beef brisket, Southwest smoked chicken, and tender fall off the bone St. Louis style ribs. Classic side dishes, over 22 Michigan craft beers on tap, and fresh squeezed handmade beverages and cocktails. JB Smokehouse is Canton's new gathering place for food, flavor, and fun. 11 to 11 every day. Welcome back to Authentic Michigan. Let's dive into some more Michigan facts. Michigan is no slouch when it comes to homegrown star power. And here is a quick list of five famous Michigan actors. Although not born here, Robin Williams' father was a Ford Motor Company senior executive who moved his family to Bloomfield Hills when Robin was only 12. He lived on a 40-acre farm and attended Detroit Country Day before moving on to superstardom. Kristen Bell, famous for such films as Forgetting Sarah Marshall and TV's Veronica Mars, is from Huntington Woods. And coincidentally, she married actor, writer, and director Dax Shepard, who's from Milford. After an NFL career, Terry Crews went on to show business. He played on the sitcom Everybody Hates Chris and currently stars on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Mr. Cruz is from Flint. One of Michigan's most famous sons, actor and musician Jeff Daniels, grew up in Chelsea, where his father owned the Chelsea Lumber Company and even became mayor. Finally, Megan Boone, an actress best known for her role as FBI agent, profiler turned blacklist consultant Elizabeth Keene on the series The Blacklist, hails from the beautiful city of Petoskey. And there's your list of actors who got the theater bug bitten in the mitten. Michigan is full of superstars, and here are two more. Hey guys, Katherine Grant here, and I'm here with the owner, Frank, from Germac Pistachio Company. Well, I am dying to find out a little bit more about this company, so please tell me. Sure. Well, Germac Pistachio Company is the oldest pistachio company in the United States. This company was started in 1924 by my grandfather, and my grandfather and his brothers and sisters brought pistachios over to the United States. At the time, they were unknown in the United States. Wow. So for the last 93 years, uh, we've been roasting pistachios here in Detroit. And since then, we've been roasting other types of nuts and we have some new products as well. Well, I know we're in the factory right now, but what can people expect at your storefront? Well, we have a number of products, of course, all the nut products, all the seed products. But as of about five years ago, we started roasting coffee. Actually, mm -hmm. coffee is roasted on very similar equipment we have here in the nut factory. So we have our on-site roasted coffee. We have our cafe there. And then we also do a full line of uh, specialty loose teas and pantry items. All right, Frank, I know everyone watching this wants to try your product, so where can it be found? Sure, well, you can go to supermarkets in Southeast Michigan, including one of our biggest and best partners, which is Fresh Food Markets. Uh, we also have our products at the stadiums. We have our retail location here in Eastern Market across from Shed 2. This is one of our most popular mixes. This is a sesame snack mix. And uh, we have a few ingredients here. Uh, I'm gonna let you go ahead and scoop some of that out. So we have sesame sticks, uh, we have raisins, peanuts, we have almonds that of course we roast right here, and uh, we also have hazelnuts in this mix. So very good job. I know, I'm trying to get a little scoop <laughs> so I can try it. All right, here, I'll hold that for you. Excellent. Mmm, that's delicious. <laughs> I love it, thank you. Oh, sure. Make sure to head over to your local bushes to get these Germec products today. If you're a fan of Marvel and DC Comics, then you have to check out this Michigan event. Of the many annual events in Michigan, one that has grown seemingly exponentially since its inception is the Motor City Comic Con. Comic Con being short for Comic Book Convention. The first Motor City Comic Con was held in 1989 at the Dearborn Civic Center. Southfield, Michigan comic book retailer Michael Goldman, owner of Motor City Comics, staged the first Motor City Comic Con. 
Although called a Comic-Con, the show included corresponding pop elements such as Star Trek, Star Wars, science fiction, and comic book themed merchandise. As the show grew, it eventually moved to the old Novi Expo Center, and by 2003, the show not only included many merchandise vendors, but celebrities from the show business and comic book industries. Some of the initial celebrities included Cindy Williams, David Prowse, Aaron Gray, and Kate Jackson. With the increasing success of comic book characters in television and film, with both Marvel and DC Comics characters almost dominating both media, and the popularity of television's The Big Bang Theory, which features characters who comic book conventions are designed for, Motor City Comic Con has become a huge event. Fans can shop for comic books, pop culture related memorabilia and merchandise, dress in costumes, and enjoy the people watching. Now held at Suburban Showplace in Novi, the event attracts major media coverage from local TV and newspapers, and in 2017, attracted more than 50,000 people. The geek shall inherit the earth. Don't go anywhere, Authentic Michigan will be right back. There's one Michigan law firm where honesty and integrity isn't just the best policy, it's their only policy. For more than 60 years, the Abood Law Firm, passion, experience and results we don't frost brew our beer and hot chicks won't appear if you drink it our beer doesn't come in a bow tie shaped can or need color indicators to tell you it's cold it won't be delivered by Clydesdale horses and to tell you the truth we aren't the most interesting people in the world fact of the matter is we don't tell stories we just let our beer do the talking Take salad dressings to a whole new level with Jen's Dressings. This delicious line of Michigan-made dressings began as a dip in dessert topping. These unique poppy seed and vinaigrette dressings bring a new, fresh option to the table. Jen's Dressings are all natural, gluten-free, and very low in sodium. Look for Jen's Dressings in the fresh produce refrigerated section in your local grocery store. From our table to yours, it's all about the dressing. Experience the authentic flavors of the Middle East at Beirut Bakery. Much more than bread, Beirut Bakery shares their unique flavors and family recipes in salads, soups, roll-ups, flatbreads, pies, sauces, dips, marinades, and desserts. Using only the highest quality, hand-picked, and natural ingredients, Beirut Bakery transforms meals into healthy and delicious celebrations. Enjoy Middle Eastern magic on a plate with Beirut Bakery. There's one Michigan law firm where honesty and integrity isn't just the best policy, it's their only policy. For more than 60 years, the Abood Law Firm. Passion, experience, and results. Welcome back. Just a few more stops left here on Authentic Michigan. Knickerbocker Baking Company opened their doors in 1990. Trish and Steve went from a small storefront to producing over 30 different specialty breads to restaurants, wholesalers, and retailers all across Michigan. You know, we've been around for 27 years and... That says something. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we just get up every day and we honestly, we try and do it better today than we did it yesterday. And we did it pretty good yesterday, but there's always something that we can do better today and tomorrow. Wonderful. And I hear you have a very special story about your chocolate bread. We do, we do. The chocolate bread came about in 2015. We started working on it. We lost one of our family members who had just turned 18 that weekend. Jacko was good-hearted, a kind kid. His goal really was every day to put a smile on somebody's face. And he loved chocolate. Aww. So we wanted to turn something bad into something good. Mm -hmm. The loaf of bread's amazing. It's amazing. Can't wait to try it. So I understand I'm actually gonna learn how to make the chocolate bread. You are, Stephen actually is gonna show you how to do that. Fantastic, I can't wait to start. Here at Knickerbocker, we only use the finest ingredients you can get. And this chocolate bread is something very close to our heart. It's very rich in eggs, high in butter, and milk and the finest chocolate that we can buy. The bread is rested, okay? Now we're gonna cut it up into one pound, five ounce pieces. This is how you do it. Okay. Put your left hand here and just cut a piece off. That's it, put it on the scale. Okay. Oh, you're close. Put that okay. piece on, don't okay. cut it. There you go. Look at that, perfect. You know what part I like best? What? Oh, I knew that. 
Okay, Catherine, it's time for your bread to come out of the oven. My friend, this is for you. You oh. earned it. Oh, I love it. Steve, Good such job. a pleasure meeting you today. Same here. And remember, Knickerbocker Bread's here for you and your family. Make sure to pick up a loaf of Knickerbocker Bread at a Bush's near you. Well, now that you're hungry, let's head over to Jiffy. This week, we're going to look at the Chelsea Milling Company, more famously known for its flagship product, Jiffy Mix. Established in 1901 as a traditional flour mill, by early 1930, the company had expanded into the retail, prepared baking mix market with its first Jiffy Mix product. Today, Jiffy is the market share leader in retail prepared muffin mixes. In business more than a century, the company still sources its flour from Michigan's Thumb, from which it purchases more than 2.5 million bushels of wheat per year. It obtains its sugar from the Bay City area and also purchases more than 11 million tons of cornmeal per year. Operating as a simple flour mill for its first 30 years, Chelsea Milling Company made its mark with the introduction of a unique product in April 1930 when the grandmother of the current president and CEO Howard S. Holmes invented the very first mixed item ever. Impressed with a local single father's ambition to bake homemade biscuits for his sons, Grandma Mabel thought, wouldn't it be great to invent something that would save people time in the kitchen and would be so easy even a man could do it? The idea for a box of pre-measured ingredients was born. The company keeps the price down by cutting out the middleman, milling its own flour, storing the grain, mixing, packaging, making its own boxes, and refusing to advertise. Jiffy's most famous mixes include mixes for cake, corn muffins, pie crust, pizza crust, frosting, muffins, and multi-purpose baking mixes. The company's website, JiffyMix.com, offers many recipes to use with its mixes. Our last stop of the day is a city that is full of adventures. The Great Lakes State has no shortage of places to visit, but if you've never been to the beautiful city of Kalamazoo, it's a great college town with wonderful atmosphere. Today, Kalamazoo hosts the Kalamazoo Promise, three higher learning institutions, two nationally recognized healthcare systems, diverse and affordable housing, award-winning water and water reclamation systems, and many parks, lakes, and golf courses. A wide variety of industries and businesses call Kalamazoo home, including major players in the pharmaceutical, medical science, and craft beer industries. The city also offers many cultural attractions that you might only expect to find in larger metropolitan areas, including music, visual art, dance, theater, and more. Thanks for joining us on our journey across this beautiful state that we get to call home. The fun continues next week as we see, learn, and experience more that the Minton has to offer, right here on Authentic Michigan.